I think it's kind of cool you're going at Doug Gottlieb, Rich. Now, oh, no, yeah. to my understanding, now Doug obviously does a great show on Fox Sports Radio. My understanding is that he's saying, it's not that your boy, Rich, Brock Purdy, stinks. Here's what I'm getting out of it. Okay. It's not that he stinks, but he stinks. That's what he's saying. Well, he's like, there's a reason he's a seventh round well, pick. Let him blah, say blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. Well, the, like, I, he does a bit on his show where he plays clips from other shows. So I'm just, I hear his show, does a great show. I hear him do this. So I'm like, you know what? Does anyone ever take his clips? What does Gottlieb say? Take a listen. This is not me saying, you know, it's like, oh, you, you, you think Brock Purdy stinks. No, but there's a reason that he was a seventh round pick, the last pick of the draft. Every team in the NFL, including the Niners, had six other opportunities to take him and passed. Most teams had seven opportunities to take him and passed. In a league that needs, values the quarterback position far more so than any other position, they had a guy who'd started his entire college career, they'd seen a ton, and they're like, yeah, and you saw why this weekend. Like, well, he lost two of his best offensive weapons. Yeah, and that's where the real dudes step up and make plays anyway. You know, I, no, I like the la- the last part of that. How could he deny that? That's where people step up. That's what makes someone a superstar. I'm not saying I agree with the rest of it, but what he said to wrap it up makes sense. No, no, oh, it okay. doesn't at all. Okay, it doesn't at all. Um, You're right. Doesn't. I got your back, Rich. No, you you <laughs> does got leaps. Eh? You can you can agree with that. Listen. People swing and miss in every draft in every sport. NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball. I mean, you could you can make a monster list of oh, this guy dropped to the third round. How is that possible? This guy was undrafted? Crazy. This guy and you then you go through the top ten picks and all the drafts, like who made it? It's so subjective, right? We're 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 looking at three guys. Look at last year's NFL draft, quarterback wise. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Anthony Richardson. We still don't know how that story ends. We could guess, but we still don't really know, right? Right now it looks like C.J. Stroud. He's the guy. That's the that's the winning pick. Houston, way to go. Richardson injured. Yeah, I, I look at it this way. Brock Purdy is 11-1 and one in the regular season. I'm giving him that extra win. You and I were at the game. He took over for Garoppolo pretty early on in that game and sealed the victory. So in as, the first game, yeah. As a starter, Brock Purdy is 11 and 1. 23 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, highest QBR in the league. He's doing everything right. Leadership in the locker room, precise passes, doesn't make bad decisions. His football intellect is off the charts. He didn't get drafted because, as you said before, not super big, not a rocket arm, not Justin Fields, Mahomes type of speed out of the pocket. Right. He prospers with intangibles. It's like if you're above average in everything but not elite in a category, it is easy to get overlooked. For sure. He doesn't have explosive speed. He's not 6'6". Yeah. He's not, you know, he's not. he doesn't have the arm strength. Of let's say a Justin Herbert, like a Dan Marino type. So you're gonna say Brock Purdy. He's above average in everything, but not elite in anything. But why are we not saying that he's an elite decision maker, which could be one of the most valuable traits in any sport, including you know, knock hockey. <laughs> including and, and you uh, said uh, you said something inclu- including uh billiards, any sport is decision making, right? So if if he's a great decision maker. Why is that being underrated? And he played the Cleveland Browns, who are ranked first, second, or third in every defensive category this season in the NFL. And historically, right now, or on pace to be a top three defense of all time. I'll tell you why. Because in sports, for whatever reason, you're talking about 11 straight wins and all the great things he's done. It's always about the last thing you did. And Garrett, Smith, Walker, and Newsom, the- Jay. Okay, that defense is full of superstars. And it was a, a gritty, dirty, drizzly, rainy day in Cleveland. Trent Williams, McCaffrey, Debo, everyone's a little banged up. Listen, Brock didn't play great. But I, I think that's like so, so such a zero reflection on what he has been and what he will be for the 49ers. 
Dude, are you gonna tell you gonna discount anyone that had a rough game? Mahomes threw a couple picks against the Jets. Yo, know who had a really bad game last week? Jalen Hurts. You down on him? Josh Allen has games where he looks like trash, and then he looks like the MVP the next game. Everyone has their ups and downs, and not and, just. And you could say, even though he had a, an average or below average game, he still left his team in position to actually win that game. Yeah, and that's which listen, is what you want from your leading. I don't want to say star quarterback, your starter quarterback. Yeah, but why are you so reluctant to say star quarterback? Because he doesn't have those star qualities yet. I'm not saying he's a top five. I'm not. But what I'm saying is, but if, if he wins, everyone's, that's all that everyone's so reluctant to to you know pat this guy on the back. And I'll tell you, if Moody, which put me in a bad Moody, if Moody kicks that 40 yard field goal last night, that game winning field goal was 38 or 39 yards. And it, I've, my, as I as we watched it, I was like, oh, it's a chip shot. Which makes me realize, oh, forty yard field goal is a chip shot. The Niners missed a chip shot. While Brock Purdy played statistically probably his worst game as a Niner, he still, when it mattered at the end, drove the ball down the field and put the Niners, managed the clock properly, put them in a position to win the game on what is considered in the NFL as a very manageable forty yard field goal. If that kick goes through the uprights, if it's two feet left, know what the narrative is? Yeah, Brock Purdy had a rough game, but found a way to win. So, again, I just think anyone, including our pal Doug, or anyone on this network, any network that's that looks at that Brock Purdy game and says, oh, there he is. He's not that great. What does God leap say? <laughs> I just think it's a, a way, it's an overreaction. What does the Fox Sports Radio Nation say? Did you look, I'm, 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 cu- I'm truly curious. Do you look at Brock Purdy's performance against an elite defense the first thing I texted you, Rich, just to prove what I'm saying, it's funny. Look, is real. This. NFL yeah, showing, on Fox is showing uh, a clip as we speak. Is showing it right now. They're showing it right now on FS1 and on CBS, saying how Brock Purdy in that last drive he did move the ball, and again, bad game for him. Yeah, but doesn't I mean, everyone have down, a bad game? He was Didn't down it? some stu- superstars, put him in field goal range. And that's all you expect. And the first thing I texted Rich after I gave him about a half hour to simmer down was, "That's not on. That's not on Purdy. That's not on Purdy. That loss is not on Purdy. Uh, they should have had that." And I think he doesn't get the credit because, again, he doesn't have any standout qualities. But what he does have, you mentioned accuracy. That accuracy comes from he puts himself in great position. He has great footwork. He has great feet to give him the balance. To throw with that accuracy. He has good feet, but no one's going to talk about that as far as, hey, man, you see the feet on this guy? Wes in Vegas hit us up just now. At Covino owner, she goes, your opinion? On the money, he goes, how many times did Brady, while Brady had a hell of a lot of great games, he goes, how many times did a guy like Brady have a mediocre game but found a way to drive his team at the end of the game for like a Vinatieri game-winning field goal? He did that. The Niners kicker just Booted a 40 yard, 40 yard field goal. The thing is, what I was saying before, it's like, well, what did you do your last game? He had an average game. That doesn't mean he's an average player. The game before, he smoked the Cowboys. Smoked the Cowboys. Right. Now, who missed two field goals? Jake Moody. Isn't that a little bit more of a problem? Rookie. Yep. Got to work on it. I mean,. It should it should be interesting to see how Brock plays moving forward, but I think it's uh All right, look at Mahomes, right? Well, that look, game he, again the game against the Jets when they won and people said, Oh, the Jets got robbed. Remember that? Bad calls? Yeah. Mahomes played like trash. But what did he do at the end of the game? Found they found a way to, to win the game. Good quarterbacks find a way to win. But a lot of times that good quarterback finding a way to win is is putting a field goal kicker in line to kick like a 30-something yard or 40-yarder, and then the quarterback's the guy that did it. When the field goal kicker misses, unfortunately, the quarterback feels that too. All right, so you heard Doug Gottlieb's side. What does Gottlieb say? And you heard Rich's side. Keep in mind, Rich took that personally because he's a 49ers fan. And that's all you expect from your starting quarterback. I don't Put him he... in position to win. It didn't go his way. You know, Tom Brady is is a great example of a guy that didn't have standout qualities other than a good-looking dude. Wasn't the fastest guy. Didn't have the best arm. 
but he was a good decision maker. Sometimes guys with too many great attributes, that could get in their way of of being a great leader and great decision maker. Oddly, oddly enough, it might not be a guy like Mahomes, or I'm thinking Cam Newton, a guy no, with Mah- so Mahomes, many great Mahomes is a great attributes. example. Mahomes is a great example. Mahomes would fit into that system. Mahomes is a great example because, oddly enough, they're off to their best start in the Mahomes era, I think, like, numbers-wise and what they're doing. But I look at Patrick Mahomes, and there are times where if his touch is slightly off, you've seen it where he's like, he just doesn't have his touch because he's so dynamic of a player. Decisions. It's it's interesting. It's interesting where the quarterback takes the blame or not. I think that's what this all comes down to. He's just taking the blame when it's really the oh I got it. It's really Moody that messed it up for him because, as as Gottlieb said, that's when superstars step up. That's when leaders step up. I think he did what he was supposed to do in that moment. At the end of the Chargers Cowboys game last night, you could sum it up with this: Scott Van Pelt's down on the field, SVP. Head's looking perfectly shaved. Got that nice suit on. Troy Aikman and Joe Buck kick it down to SVP. And he's like, all right, coming up. We got this. We'll talk to the, I guess you would say, like the, the star of the game. We don't know who that is yet, though, because we got two minutes left. With two minutes left in the game, that star could have been Herbert. That star could have been a field goal kicker that kicked a 60-yarder. It could have been like... The you know wide receiver three who you snagged zip, the catch. Zip it. The star of the game was Marianne Doe. We knew that. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> we don't we don't we don't know who the star of the game is with two minutes left. So again, if they make that field goal, who are they talking to after the game? Brock Purdy. Hey, Brock, you had a rough one. Well, the weather was tough. We held in there. We fought. We were physical. This and that. And uh, you know, we had that game winning drive to set up Moody. Moody shanks the kick. Now Brock Purdy stinks. You know what? It's hard. It's going to take Brock Purdy a longer time to shake that stigma he's of Mr. A, he's, Irrelevant. He's going to have to win a Super Bowl. And, and then, then you comes, know what will happen? It comes back to that, too. It's like you might not have been saying that if he was a high draft, right, or someone that came with that clout or those expectations. But knowing he came from irrelevance, Mr. Irrelevant, and yeah. everyone's saying he's a system QB, it's it's going to be part of his story and part of the narrative when he doesn't have his best game. Ah, there it ah. is. See? What's up, Ramos? No, I was going to say, I agree with you. It's going to take him to win the Super Bowl. The, that's what Brady did. Talk about Mahomes being having a bad game. Yeah, but he has two Super Bowl wins behind him as well, too. So it's going to take Purdy to win a Super Bowl, which he may have last year had he not blown out his arm in that first quarter of that game. I mean, they really were a very good team, and that really yeah. screwed up their whole chances. But until he wins, the, I think people always look at him as exactly what you're talking about right Mr. now. Is Mr. Mr. Irrelevant. But we need That's to remember, right. too, just because, I mean, everybody has bad days, right? Sure. Let's say you tuned into our show, and it, you know, in your opinion, it sucked. Hey, you know what? Tomorrow I may be the best host ever. One bad day doesn't define you as who you are. So if he had a bad game... Yeah, he he may have had an average game. Doesn't mean he's an average yeah, quarterback. They're, they're, and that's the narrative. Like, see, there he is. Average court. There he is. Mr. I mean, average. Look at a guy that's played in the World Series. Trey Turner, in the World Baseball Classic, he was seeing the ball like a beach ball. And then most of the beginning, the whole first half of the season, he was awful. And then he turned it on. Like, you get streaky. There are t- Bryce Harper looks like the hottest player in sports right now. There are games where Bryce Harper strikes out three times and goes 0 for 5. It happens. And... Example, That's last where night. I said consistency Everyone, is a major factor. Everyone, I, I saw Colin Cowherd rank his top 10 NFL quarterbacks, and I don't disagree with the list. I don't think Brock's on the list. But he has Herbert always in the top five. Everyone loves Justin Herbert. I watched that whole game last night, and he missed a lot of open receivers. Oh, yeah. For a guy with a cannon of an arm and a guy that through, yeah. everyone loves to talk about Justin Herbert. Am I crazy in saying that there was like – Three, four, five. There was like five passes where I mean, go. He's just off the mark. And by the way, everybody, for the most part, always feels like the Chargers are the most talented team in the NFL. But yet, they kind of, they're like, a, what is it? Is it a quagmire? Is that what you call it? They just kind of sit giggity, in mud. Giggity. They just sit in mud in the same place. They never go this way or that way. Yeah. They just kind of muddle around in that mud for being such a talented team. And you're right. Justin Herbert has gotten watched, a lot was, of praise. There was a, there was a, a Mike Williams. Uh, there was a Mike Williams drop. There was a Mike Williams. There was balls overthrown at least three times last night. I'm thinking, Justin Herbert's the man. But let's not, let's not crown this guy a top three to five guy in the league. He's he's missing a lot of open looks. And 
You know what it is? People also focus on potential. And, I mean, think of growing up when you played sports. A lot of people, you may have been a better player, but you didn't get the credit as the way someone else did because that that person probably had greater potential based on their skill set. Yeah. So it's true. That's just what happens in the NFL. Brock Purdy's a solid quarterback. He's performed like a solid quarterback. But guys like Justin Herbert are going to get more credit. He has more potential than that guy. Yeah, but uh, again, I'm not. It's it's a weird thought, right? Because it's like, well, what are you based? On? What are you? What are you judged on? Your wins and productivity, right? When you look at Justin Herbert, he has not done as much as Brock Purdy, getting further in the playoffs, winning percentage. I mean. You got to tell me what are you judging hey, dude, him on? You're, you're, judging you're, him on individual you're going accolades? through what I went through as a Yankees fan my whole life. When people would say Derek Jeter's overrated, he sucks. He's surrounded by superstars. It's like yeah, but he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Brock Purdy, yeah, he's surrounded by superstars, doing what he's supposed to be doing. He would have been a winner had they made the field goal. That's I mean, that's really it. I right, again, I'm not saying Purdy. And I'm not talking about both sides of my mouth. I'm not saying Purdy's better than the, quote, elite guys in the league. But, all right, if, if guys like Josh Allen and, and Justin Herbert are so elite, how long do you give them to win some? But it's not even about elite. Is he the best guy for that job? For that job. Let's go to Greg in Arizona. Greg, you're on with Kavino and Rich. What's hey, up, Greg? Buddy? Hey, guys. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Hey, I just you on Purdy. First of all, let me get this off my chest. I hate freaking kickers. I hated them in college. They kick before practice. They slept play cards when we were busting and running, and then they come out and they kick. He got one job, and he can't even kick a 41 field goal, which 80% of the 40 and under you make. Yeah. So thank you for letting me vent the kickers. Yeah, it's frustrating. Thank you. Uh, you're you're always welcome here, Greg, to vent. Uh, Jacob in Austin. What's up, man? Hey, Jacob. Hey, what's going on, guys? Love the show. Appreciate you taking my call. Oh, thanks, man. I just want to let you know, uh, I agree, one bad game doesn't make, doesn't make or break a career. I think he's got a lot of good talents. But we, I watched him a lot living here in Austin in the Big 12, and everybody called him Brock Pumpfake Purdy. And there were some times that uh, his talent or lack of show. But I think overall, you give him some more years, he's going to be a good quarterback. Yeah, I mean, listen, he does it. Again, you're – a guy like Trevor Lawrence is huge. He's what six six and strong, and you got an arm like Justin Herbert. That I get the different characteristics people look for. I'm not naive. I'm just saying it really just comes down to winning. And Brock Purdy's doing everything he's asked of. And the first time he slips up, his first regular season loss in his career, where he was a Mister Irrelevant third string. The guy went a season and a half, uh, like practically a season. You know how you wrap this up, Rich? Not a matter of, you know, is Doug Gottlieb wrong? Everybody's talking about Brock Purdy not being that guy. Is Rich right? Ramos said it best. If he wants to crush that stigma of, officially, Mm -hmm. of Mr. Irrelevance and really live that, that's like a child, that's a children's book. He he goes from Mr. Irrelevant to Super Bowl champion. It's like the story of the ugly duckling or something. Yeah, Ridiculous. but you know what they'll say then? They'll say, well, Shanahan, no. Shanahan system. No, 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 no. Because then that's, they could have said this, and they did say the same thing about Tom Brady, and it doesn't matter. You win a Super Bowl, that story's over. There still may be a little bit of a conversation, though, Kavino. I was watching some of the talking heads on TV, and their debate was, does Brock, Bur- Brock Purdy need one Super Bowl or two? Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, my God, they're <laughs> yeah. already going there. So yeah, wow. Aaron Rodgers has one. Yeah, I know. Come on. All right. That, that's so funny, though, because right. that that's how strong that stigma is with this guy. Yep.